Ukraine's law enforcement agencies have provided additional details of the Dnipro Patrol Police incident, which happened in Dnipro on September 25th. After the first investigation, testimonies of witnesses, CCTV cameras, video and footage from the officers' personal cameras, more circumstances revealed of that ill-fated situation. At 9.30 a.m., the patrol police officers stopped the traffic violator near the city railway station. You ran a red light. You turned right from the Gorky Street. Where? It was green. No, it was red. The driver of the Citroën shows a document of a war veteran with the name of Alexander Pohachov. He even shows his scar from wartime injuries and begs not to punish him. Let's come to an agreement. I'm an ATO veteran. Commander, understand me? You should understand that running a red light is a very serious violation. The policeman eventually takes his ID to check. Now we'll look through our database to check that you're not on a wanted list. At that time, Artem Kurushev's counterpart, Olga Makarenko, is standing nearby. For a very short while, she was distracted by talking to a stranger. As it's already known, she didn't turn on her personal camera. Artem gets into the patrol car to check the ID. Suddenly, the Citroen driver turns on Artem Kurushev, brandishing a Makaro gun. He orders the policeman to give him his service gun. I told you once, I will shoot, quickly. Let me at least leave the car. I cannot reach my gun. Artem Kurushev presses the alarm signal to his colleague. She draws her weapon, however, cannot prevent the tragedy from happening. Put your gun down. I will shoot him. Down. The gunman starts shooting at the officers. Artem Kurushev manages to return the shot before his death. The wounded killer grabs the patrol service gun and escapes. Tactically, they did everything right, because if they opened fire, there could have been many casualties. The suspect could be arrested in the afternoon. Police conducted a special operation near the building he lived in. As reported, he left home 15 minutes before the police arrived. He managed to change his appearance. In the suspect's apartment, police found wigs, fake moustaches and makeup. We missed him literally by 15 minutes. He escaped not even having time to take his car because we were near it. I suggest he could see us from the window. The suspect turned out to be Alexander Puhachov, 33 years old. He went to a hospital with a gunshot wound to the stomach. As reported by the police, he has been on the wanted list by Ukraine's law enforcement agencies since 2015 for a range of serious offenses. The gunman refuses to give testimonies and calls himself by a different name. However, fingerprint verification has already proved his identity. His fingerprints were in the criminal case of 2003. Then he was sentenced for selling narcotics, though the incriminating evidence on him killing two police officers is a bullet in his body taken out during the surgery. Neither the suspect's gun nor the officers have been found yet. More than 20 separate case files are scheduled to be held. If the suspect is found guilty for committing the crime, he will get a lifetime sentence.